Nearly two months after the death of George Floyd, activists still trying to keep the police brutality conversation going. Our Danae Bucci has a local activist side of the story. Hey Shannon, Eli West has been marching through areas just like this one for the past seven weeks, but he says as time has gone on, those numbers have been declining. Now he says he's been bringing people and protesters from the old East Broad Street School to the police station on Habersham and then finally ending at City Hall. Through the weeks of doing this, he says that he's been harassed by people who don't like his message. What started as a crowd of 25 has gone down to just two people, but West says no matter the number of people who show up or don't, he will continue to fight for justice. A couple of weeks ago, we were like, hey, let's just move with four people. <laughs> I literally did the march with four people and still made a statement. So it doesn't matter about my numbers. <laughs> if we continue to do it, then the people in city council and the elected officials will understand the voices are going to be heard. And y'all going to have to make a change. And it starts with y'all. So if y'all don't start with y'all need to do in this gold dome, y'all can be voted out just as well as the other regime. I'm tired of seeing these worldwide issues of police brutality and also giving, I try to give other people opportunities to let their voices be heard in the city. West says he will hold another march tomorrow at 2 p.m. and he hopes more people will show up. You can find more information on our website. Reporting from Savannah, Danae Bucci, WJCL 22 News. Danae, thank you. West also says he got his start after his friend Sean Trey Grant was shot and killed at a Savannah apartment complex.